welcome my name is Magdalene Janet welcome if you are new please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here hanging out having a good time and of course welcome back to all my oldies but goodies I'm so excited because I recently got the Patrick tall brow wax hold on let's open it this is so pretty it's like straight up wax in like a little nice beautiful rose gold tin and lately I've been into waxes because I use the elf and the ABH wax I'm like you know what let's try more brow waxes so I can give you options I'm gonna eventually sum it up and talk to you guys about brow waxes because they're fairly new and I don't see a lot of options so I wanted to do this and see how it works on these sparse brows you see how bold these brows are look and this one's thicker than this one I don't know what happened to this one Things happen all the time. Brows, I swear my brows disappear like every other day. Let's get close and then we'll start. What I always like to do is remove all my moisturizer, sunscreen, anything I have stuck on my brows because since I do have sparse brows, I really want to work directly with the actual hair. And oh my gosh, here this is. So I'm gonna get this double-ended spoolie and Wow, this is a $4 applicator and look how thin this is. I really like that it's really thin. Here is my clean spoolie. Let's get it. Oh, I don't want to touch it because it's so new. Oh, it's gliding nicely. Get a good amount on our spoolie. I like the laminated eyebrow look, especially because I barely have eyebrows. So I feel like that style works well. So what I'm going to do is work this wax into the brow and then kind of go up. This spoolie is a little bit on the stiff side, which is good because it'll really help us get these brows standing up straight. Also, making your brows go up high, I feel like it just opens the eyes and the face a little bit. This is working really well. Wow. Okay, it's like the brows are standing at attention, girl. Look at this. Oh, you see? Okay, wow. I feel like that's it. I don't have to go back before and after. You see the difference how much it just opens the eye area and just the face? The Patrick Ta Major Brow Shaping Wax retails for $22. It comes in two shades, tinted and clear. This is an innovative defining wax that will maximize the shape of your brow. The highlighted ingredient is growth peptides that support healthy new growth glycerine and olive oil that conditions, softens, and protects the brows and skin. Free of sulfates, parabens, formaldehyde, this product is vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free. It is available at Sephora. I really like this. It's very gentle. It doesn't feel too, too waxy. I mean, although it's a wax, but I like how the brows are just standing up. And I forgot to mention what I do is like press and pull up, press and pull up. This way the wax gets into the hairs and the wax is like embedded in that hair and then it helps it stand up. So this is with no product on. You can see how this brow, like it's missing like a whole section up in here and it looks a little more on the arch side, but we're gonna fix that with my favorite, favorite NYX brow pen. It's the Lift and Snatch in Ash Brown, the best. I, I, don't, I don't know of another one that's like this good. Look how thin this applicator is. This shade is perfection. Now, what I'm gonna do is rest my pinky on my cheek up here. So the pressure is all here. And then with the side, if you use the side of this pen, you're gonna get longer strokes. If you go like this with the point, you're gonna get shorter strokes. So on the side, because you see these areas are longer, we're gonna go with the longer side. And this way, it's like very efficient too. But what I want to see is if the product goes on the brows well. Sometimes these waxes are like super waxy and thick where like the product kind of just sits on top of it. It doesn't really get into it. Like this one is actually, dang. Oh yeah. Oh, and then now with the tip, that's where you get the little hairs right here up in the front. And I like to tilt my head so I can see what I'm working with. Wow. See that brow? Look at the before and after. It just gives such a subtle hint of color and you can go darker if you want or keep it like this. Oh, okay, so we're gonna fix this whole bald spot. I'm just gonna speed it up. I 
I really like how natural these brows look. You already know I love my got to be glue gel and this is what started my love for the laminated look and I feel like if you have very sparse brows this look is really good because you work with already your shape you're just filling in all the missing areas because as you can see we have very similar shape from what we started it just looks a little bit neater. So now let's clean up I like to use a bit of a lighter concealer about three shades lighter or maybe two I don't know what you think or three because it gives our brow bone a little bit of a highlight so I'm gonna get a thin concealer brush I tilt my head back and clean up the bottom area and not touch where any product wax or the hair is because then it'll look kind of gray and funky still with my head tilted I'm just gonna blend this out I'm just gonna blend it down to my brow so it doesn't look harsh not brow my lid oh geez it's monday morning and it was so hard to wake up although i slept well i think i was just tossing and turning you know i don't like to really clean up up top i feel like that's when they look a little too structured you get the furry look you get the fluffy look here you know like here it's not perfect well let's perfect it a little bit what i usually do is actually when i clean up i kind of get little areas i've missed and then let's fix this tail look a little funky sometimes my tails like are not even a little longer so what i'm gonna do is just finish up my face and i'll be back brows are on what i like most about this is it's such a natural way to do your brows you can just use the wax and not fill them in and just have them kind of like combed and kind of sitting up a little bit or you can use a brow pencil or a brow pen like we did today. This brow pen glided very, very nicely on top of the wax, which is always a good thing. And it's like a telltale sign because sometimes waxes can be too, too thick and it just overtakes sparse brows like ours. My hair is very fine and I don't have a lot. So it's certain things that I can't use very pigmented products on my brows because then they're gonna just look too overwhelming it's gonna look crazy I'm not gonna like it it gave us the fluffy furry little brows and pretty quickly but of course we're gonna do an all-day wear test because I do have oily skin and my brows tend to go away with my oily skin you know I forgot to tell you guys the time it's 8 44 but let's start the clock at around 7 30 because that's the time i started but i forgot to tell you let's go to the window so you guys can see how they look in daylight and see you later bye what you think in daylight don't they look super natural super fluffy brows huh i had to extend the tail on this one or on this one i think it looks really really good what you think let me know but yeah okay bye oh my gosh you guys i'm yawning <laughs> It is only 8 o'clock. <laughs> I've had the brows on for 12 hours, but of course, I do want to show you how the brows were looking in daylight at around 2 o'clock. I felt like they looked very much the same. They looked very natural, very fluffy, very furry, very laminated. They looked really good. And here we are now, 12 hours later. Look at these brows. They just look naturally fluffy, huh? Let me turn down the light so you can see. Some of my hair came down here, but not too, like, tragically tragically but you know what i mean so this is definitely a good wax for the brows i feel like it really holds the brows together but it also gives it that very natural fluffy effect which is really what i noticed that waxes do and i actually forgot to show you how to use this flat part at the beginning i was editing the video i'm like oh my god i didn't show my people okay so what you usually do is like comb the brows right you know how we added the, the wax and then with the flat part you just press it up against your skin it's right now very glidey because my oils are kind of mixed in there but it's okay now we can really see how this product looks and then you just go like that and you see they look a little bit flatter versus here but again we've had this on all day long oh my god it's like gliding because my oils on my brows <laughs> but talking about oily brows these brows are still on though huh they look good oh i just feel like this one really held the brow nicely fluffy and the product did glide on very very nicely so that's always a big deal i'm very happy we still have brows 12 hours later on oily skin but yeah this is it just wanted to show you how the brows look at the end of the day i will have everything linked down below so if you're looking for anything i always link it in the description box so let me know have you tried this it's not brand new but it's fairly new and i just really wanted to try it to show you guys how 
it would look on sparse brows and how to use the product if you are new to waxes. So let me know your thoughts. You know, I'm always in the comments to chat it up with you guys. And thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!